A North County man accused of raping young teens inside his home. Tonight News 4 is uncovering the popular app he's charged with using to prey on people. Good evening, I'm Courtney Bryant. And I'm Claire Kelly. And for Steve Savard tonight, right now, St. Louis County Police are searching for 19-year-old Dominic Yoko. They are calling him right now a sexual predator. News 4's Emma Hoag is in Florissant tonight where police say Yoko has been committing these crimes. Emma? Courtney Claire, really unnerving information for any parent. Investigators telling us he picks these young women up, brings them to his home, which we're told is further back down this cul-de-sac on Celerity Drive, rapes them, then drops them back off. And tonight we're also learning this all starts on an app you've probably heard of called Snapchat. A lot of disgust uh, and anger because, I mean, it just it makes a person be considered an animal. I mean, he's an animal to me. This woman didn't want her face shown, but says 19 year old Dominic Yoko lives just three doors down. Tonight, police are calling her neighbor a sexual predator. They party a lot over there and have a lot of people over. Their cars wind around the corner and um, they're loud at night. News 4 is learning new details about what goes on inside those walls. St. Louis County Police say Yoko is accused of assaulting and raping at least six teenagers in the last three years. Every day that we don't catch him, there could be another victim. Investigators say his spree of assault stems back to November of 2016 and the most recent reported in July of last year. They believe he uses social media sites like Snapchat to lure victims into his home. This gentleman has posted stories um, on his Snapchat where he's luring these girls in. He's, he's posting stuff on his story that enables him to reach these young girls. He goes and picks them up, brings them to his house where he rapes them, sexually molests them, and then he brings them home. I've been hearing rumors since the beginning of summer. This woman says Yoko often brings several teenage women to the restaurant she works at. She says she's had a bad feeling all along. Some of them seemed, you know, maybe late teens, but others seemed early teens, mid teens. Some of them seemed really young. So today we did knock on Yoko's door several times. We heard a dog barking, but no one answered. Again, investigators say they strongly believe there are more than six victims. The reason it is so crucial for anyone who knows anything to give them a call. We're live in Florissant tonight. Emma Hogue, News 4.